Good cover. Camille, good things happen when you swing. COC's Cougar Volleyball is back on the courts to play for their 2022 season. But there is something different about the team. For this season, what is really changing is the return of a five-time Western State Conference Coach of the Year honoree. The delay for her 20th season is finally underway after a six-year leave handling something larger than volleyball. When I first was going to finish my tenure as the curriculum chair, um, it's, an, it's a very intense uh, reassignment as a faculty member. 80% of your obligation to the college is uh, reassigned from teaching to the curriculum chairpersonship. When I originally was um, approached by my faculty peers to assume that role, I said to the district I would be unable to do both my coaching job and the curriculum job. Oh, that's money right there. There you go, Joe. I felt very confident that volleyball would be in great hands. We had just won um, three consecutive conference championships. We had just gone to the state tournament. We had just finished third in the state of California. Nice! With some decisions, sometimes life just falls right into place. I was at a time in my life where I had um, young children. So even though it took a ton of work, it was the kind of work that I could schedule a little bit better, whereas with coaching, you travel, you're on your team's schedule, you do whatever your team needs, so it's a little less flexible. Coaching volleyball takes more than just being a coach. It involves teaching something larger than the game and sport itself to the players. Obviously, Lisa is very privy to the academic side of College of the Canyons being in curriculum for the last six years. So that kind of stuff that she brings outside of just pure volleyball stuff, but making sure that they're keeping up with their classes and you know they have the kind of support that they need if they're struggling in a class or whatever it may be. While teaching her players about teamwork, Coach Hooper demonstrates by helping Coach Nate and Coach Clay with work that goes into play for the season. It's been a, I think it's been a great program for me to come into not being here before. Um, everybody's been so welcoming, so that's, that's been great. We're all like, we mesh really well together, and I think it's just going to get even better as the season goes on. Excited, thrilled. These are some of the feelings of coming back. For Coach Hooper, she and her team will continue to play what they love. This program is very dear to me. The coaching staff has stayed largely intact for um, almost 20 years, and I think that that makes a significant impact on the quality of the teams that we're able to produce. Reporting from College of the Canyons, I'm Kyle Kawamoto.